friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 23rd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Starting out here, always 304 angstroms, showing the last 48 hours on our sun, as we did have a large plasma filament. Lifting and then dropping back into the sun watch on the northeast side there. We're going to have a closer look at that coming. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming with a little earth to scale. Plasma filaments dancing across the surface of the sun. And then looking at the one on the left hand side, which is the northern hemisphere huge plasma jump erecting from the surface in a huge loop and falling back into the sun just after there was one lifting away in the southern hemisphere another close look at that large plasma filament taking a roller coaster ride up and down back into the surface having a look at multi-spectrum last 48 hours of events you can really see a cme was detected and seen here in the last image from that plasma filament and as well watching two very bright regions earth facing right now heads up because we could see a large m-class solar flare from these sunspots pretty complex another look here 193 angstroms turning away coronal hole and a couple new coronal holes building one equatorial and one in the northern hemisphere both visible there black regioned solar x-ray flux remains in b range after seeing one more c-class flare since last night's update geomagnetic activity slightly elevated here 1.5 real-time solar wind as we are dropping down as the cosmic density has picked up 22.76 and 291 kilometers per second solar winds a little bit of data missing there having a look at lasco 2 showing all of the earth's or is this the sun's energy this is the past seven days of images and there are a few missing if you notice there in the timestamp some of these images are missing. But in the last frame, you'll be able to see that there was a CME taking off from the northeast region. Top right on the sun. Right there. I want to thank you all for tuning in today. Keeping aware and prepared with space weather update as well. We will be getting to earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. As we are still a month away from winter, just saying. Headlined, extreme cold. Iswa Space Prediction Spiral showing CME taking off in an outgoing position towards BEPI satellite. But nothing major thwarted our way. We are expecting a little bit of space weather here in the coming days. Schumann residence for today is a power of eight. Healthy, normal power, amplitude of eight, quality of 7.7, .7, and power of 10. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as it's been very busy the last few days. Still sitting at about 230 earthquakes across the USGS, so slightly above average. We did just recently have a 5.1 earthquake Kermadec, or, yeah, Kermadec Islands, New Zealand, 35 kilometer depth, and it has been busy here today. 4.9 Fiji Islands, 553 kilometer depth. That's the deepest past 24 hours, but not the most interesting. 4.9 there, Papua New Guinea, 4.7 Philippines. Activity is still rocking Jakarta. Indonesia, 4.6, 4.5 off the coast there. As well, a 4.9 here, mid-Indian Ridge, 10 kilometer depth. Quiet through the Eurasian plate today. 
But late last night, 6.1 earthquake struck western Turkey, followed by a 4.5. 5.1 earthquake here reported Norwegian Sea towards Svalbard. Getting down into South American plate, Scotia plate, South Sandwich Islands, 5.1. And then South America here, a 5.0 with largest of the region, San Clemente, Chile, 82 kilometer depth. But a very deep earthquake here in Yacuba, Bolivia, 4.5 earthquake, 532 kilometer depth. Very rare for that region to see that deep. 4.5 Peru, 4.8 Nicaragua. Massa Chapa and quiet through the Caribbean plate today, only reporting a 3.5 and a 2.5. Looking across the United States, we saw 4.5 here, Baja, California. That was after the large 6.2 yesterday. As well, here seeing a 3.5, Mina, Nevada today. And White City, New Mexico, still seeing an earthquake swarm. 3.6 being the largest today. Many earthquakes in that region. you got to wonder what's up. Overlooking Alaska, largest through the region was a 4.1 magnitude. Getting over to Japan here, northern Japan, Rumoi, 4.8, 4.2, and a 5.2 Katsura off the coast there. As well, minor earthquake, Hawaii. Not much to report through Hawaii right now. Looking here at the last seven days for shakers across the planet, most of the activity being in the past three days, especially with the large earthquakes. Devastating 5.6 Indonesia, 7.2 Solomon Islands, 6.2 California, and 6.1 Turkey. Heads up, stay safe, stay aware and prepared, and have a plan for when an earthquake strikes your region. Not everybody lives in an earthquake-prone zone, but anything can happen. It's all about staying aware and prepared. Hashtag no fear here with daily events worldwide. Now let's have a look at most recent satellite imagery and most recent volcanoes getting updated. Popopacatitl in Mexico, Reventador in Ecuador. 187 active hazards right now at the Pacific Disaster Center, many of them being floods. If you would like to find out if your region is being flooded, have a look here in the scroll or download the app yourself and get a more detailed flood forecast. But many, many flood alerts across this app right now. Getting to here, Fuego in Guatemala, Sabancaya in Peru, many earthquakes, tsunami watches, Reventador. So that's about six volcanoes getting updated today. We got strong winds across uh, Atlantic provinces and as well west coast up into Alberta. Chinook winds. Having a look here, satellite imagery from around the world. Pretty big systems coming into the coast right now. Northern BC. Atmospheric rivers stretching across Atlantic Ocean. Strong system coming out of Japan. And as well, the pretty stormy system coming out of the Mediterranean. And daily, daily torrential rains across Africa. Let's get to the forecast here. Forecast models for rain and snow. As we have a pretty strong system coming out of the Gulf. Saturday into Sunday for the United States. Watch for extreme weather breakout through Texas and through the southeastern United States. But it won't last long as a cold front will be coming and dipping in behind that. Right now we've got snow across the Atlantic provinces and will continue for the next few days. Big system will be penetrating there by Saturday. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Snow on the back side of this system as far south as Texas. And then look at all that snow moving in western Canada and through the plains. Big system here for the end of the week across northern Ontario and Quebec. And here are the temperatures. 
watching extreme cold move in by the end of this long forecast. We're going to be seeing minus double digits, minus 30 in northern Alberta, minus 35 northern Manitoba, minus 25 southern Alberta towards Calgary, even dipping down to minus 20 towards Montana and Colorado. Overlooking the rest of the world for systems. We've got another low heading through the Mediterranean. We'll bring stormy conditions through Italy. And as well, a low pressure system coming into Spain, funneling straight up north into the UK. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the Pacific. Strong systems blowing eastward and towards the Aleutian Islands. Possible tropical system here developing for the Philippines and then heading into Thailand by the long weekend or long range forecast next Friday. Looks like this system will be building and highly organized by next Friday heading into Thailand. At the same time, one moving into the Northern Territory of Australia. And as you can see, we've got a system moving in here over the next few days. We'll be bringing moisture to northeastern parts and through the shores, eastern shores. A possible tropical system here in the long-range forecast for Northern Territory, Australia. Quick look here overlooking the Pacific as we get a strong system heading in to Hawaii as well. They're already seeing high surf and high wind warnings. They're about to get some moisture too with this low coming out of the Central Pacific. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, and share. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.